and we're here at the ID Tech X show. Hi. Hi. So uh, who are you? I'm Nick Newby. I work at Mirwick Coding. We're located in southern Indiana. Um, our company, our parent company is Yasui Seiki from Japan. They have been designing and manufacturing uh, precision coding machines for the last 40 years. Um, they started by producing production size machines and from there they scaled down because there was a lot of interest, particularly in the US, for lab size machines. So we, is this lab sized? Yeah, this is a, one of our smaller lab size machines. We do roll to roll coding. Um, our main technologies are microgravure coding and slot die coding. Um, besides selling the machines, we have our facility in Indiana, we also have eight coding lines, so we can offer test and toll coding from everything from this scale on up to production size scale and all the sizes in between. So what's uh, the coding about? Well, we our um, expertise is the machinery and how to use it, the process, the chemistry. So our customers bring their materials to us um, a lot of times they've already selected an ink or a coating solution and a substrate and we will help them put the two together. We've worked with industries all over the world from display industry to the battery industry, coating anodes, cathodes, um, separators. We've coated textiles and non-wovens. Um, so it really depends on what our customers are trying to make, but we can help them put the coating on the flexible substrate. So where is the coating happening in this machine? Uh, the way we have it threaded right now, the coating would be happening here with the microgravure. This is the coating roll, and it rotates in a bath of the coating solution. And then the uh, substrate is lowered down over the coating roll, picks up the solution, and comes across this way. Uh, it can air dry, or we can add a heat dryer to the top, and then you roll up your finished product down here. Coding is, how is it different from uh, printed printing? Well, um, one of the differences is, is usually with printing, you're trying to print some kind of an image or feature. With our coding technology, it's more of a uniform coding. So we can, we don't coat, we don't print a pattern, but we can coat like a continuous layer or continuous stripes. And um, so that that's, good for like well, a lot of people call it flood coating it's like an anchor layer that goes beneath printing or it can be like a hard coat that goes over the top of uh, something that's already printed to protect it and so you have expertise in making the f the coating very uniform yes exactly very flat very uniform um, both cross web and down web this is a bigger machine right here right? yeah this is one of our production size machines um, this particular machine is located in Japan, uh, but we have a similar machine in our U.S. location as well. So what does this one do, for example, being so big? Um, usually when people talk about roll-to-roll -roll coding, the whole idea is scaling up so that they can manufacture it and not be making individual pieces by hand. So the, the idea behind the size is you can coat really wide web, um, these larger machines have a much longer dryer, which usually translates to being able to coat at faster speeds because you want your materials to come out dry on the other end. So if you have a longer, hotter dryer, you can get those materials dry. Um, and so a lot of our customers, even if they're making small pieces, they manufacture on a very large scale and then punch the pieces out from that. They can get a lot more pieces out of that material than if they were doing a, a small roll like on one of these lab machines. Are you the world leader in this kind of tech? I would like to think that we are one of the world leaders. Um, there, for in the display industry, um, they're some of the largest manufacturers only use our technology to do their coding. Um, for display? For display and as well as the separator industry, one of the largest manufacturers in the world only uses our technology for that. What's the separator? Is that stuff that goes in batteries or other yes, stuff? Yes, that's correct. Um, it's actually usually using a material that's similar to what's on this lab coder right now and they uh, often use a ceramic based coating um, to create a non-conductive layer that goes into rechargeable batteries. So. You have these machines around the world? 
or is it a lot in Japan? Or We do, as far as offering the coding services, we have two locations in Japan um, and one location in the U.S. But uh, we have plenty of customers who actually purchase the machines, and so we have those all over the world. We've got some in Europe, South America. Uh, in China? China, yes. Southeast Asia. Um, of course, North America, the U.S. and Canada both. And what is this liquid thing you put there? Does it get coated? Is that what you use to coat? Yeah. So this is just an example of one of the, the coating slurries that some of our customers have worked with us. This is the slot die coating. Um, but again, it's just the same concept, coating that liquid solution onto a flexible substrate. And you have some examples of stuff that you're showing over there in that window. Yeah. Uh, so maybe we can check some of this stuff. So w what are they showing here? These are just some of the examples of materials we have coated or can coat. Um, I don't know if you can see it really you need well. Two eyes to see it real, right? But um, it's yeah, the effect going on here. This, so this is these are holograms. One of the companies that we've worked with makes the base film for printing holograms on. So we coat multiple layers onto a base plastic film and then they put that into their laser printing machines to actually create the holograms. And what are these things done here? Um, these are examples of, um, we do photo resist film, um, transparent conductive film, which people are using for, um, you know, touch screens. Um, that kind of thing. And then this is just a stripe coat sample. We've had a number of customers ask if we can coat, we can coat continuous stripes, we just can't print an image. So this is in the heart of the printed electronics industry, what the stuff you're doing, right? Yeah, yeah, it goes into many, many products that the, the printed electronics industry are making. And like I said, we do um, materials that go into touch screens. We do hard coats that are like scratch resistant for, for the touch screens. Um, we do anti-reflective layers, um, anchor coats that kind of promote adhesion for labeling. Uh, I don't know, you, you name it, and we've probably coated something in that, in that field. All right, and um, in the future, you're just gonna be coating more and more. That's what I hope. And um, this, this, this kind of uh, printer electronics, what do you think about this? And what can happen in the future with all this stuff? Well, I mean, you know, as people try to make more intricate um, electronics that kind of integrate their way into our lives, I think there's only going to be more of a need for everything that's here at this show because uh, we're continually trying to improve our lives, our uh, efficiency in the industry, the workplace, and all of these printed electronics devices and materials are only going to make that easier.